Hey there, and welcome back to Factorio Sending, uh, not Sending Sportus to Space, Tightening the Belt. I am thinking of the entirely wrong series. Um, I'm Exterminator, and thank you for joining me. I could have just redone the video there, but, uh, it was, it was a funny mistake. I want to leave it in. Um, anyway, we are back here in Tightening the Belt. I was just talking about Sending Sportus to Space with someone, uh, like five minutes ago. That's why I said it. Uh, so I did quite a bit of work on the last stream, uh, so let's go over what we did and uh, then we will continue on what we're doing. So we ran uh, circuits. I I ran like all the belts except circuits and realized at last minute I had forgotten circuits. Good thing we realized that now and not like way later. Um, and there's like randomly like two or three vehicles scattered around here. Um, so circuits come up. I've kind of marked these because the icons like aren't really the same size as like the belt thing here. It's kind of off, but basically we have circuits, copper, red circuits, uh, blue circuits. This is two belt one here. And then we have gears on this one. And then this one is iron down here. This one's steel. Uh, this one is plastic. And this one is stone, I believe. This bottom one is stone. We should actually mark that. Uh, there we go. Uh, so here we go. Yeah, this is what this looks like. And it is pretty crazy. I can it. I think it's 39 lanes. Uh, and we are doing, I, so I've hooked up, um, I've hooked up pipes. I built the pipe build here. Someone did mention that I didn't do a pipe build, um, and I did forget, and then I remembered again. <laughs> uh, so we built this here, and the pipes basically come over and feed to the engines over here. Um, but I've hooked up the red science, the green science, and blue science pretty much in its entirety, aside from hooking up miners, which is going to be interesting. Um, now engines um were a little bit interesting to work out here but they are set up nonetheless uh and then we're still missing something here so we're missing miners uh and then one of these is going to be red circuits uh which i suppose could just be this one uh so this actually is going to come out to here so we're going to kind of finish this up and we also converted i had some help on monday um we converted all the outposts to bot based um which I feel is important to note uh, because basically I realized that belts will just not have enough throughput. Uh, you know, a blue belt can only move 2,400 items a minute, uh, which is like, you know, a little more than a train wagon. So if we're doing eight cargo wagon train wagon and we have eight belts going in to the train, that's about a train. I mean, it's a little faster, like a train, like every 50 seconds or something, um, which we need it to actually be faster than that. Um, now we could load from both sides and that would double the throughput. However, changing the ones I'd already built to do that would have been a massive pain because we would have had to run double belts. Um, and they will still be limited at that. You can't really do any faster than that. Um, bots, however, will not be limited. Uh, once I get more bot speeds and stuff, the, you know, uh, throughput is just pretty much unlimited. Um, I can just add more bots, get more bot speeds and stuff like that. Uh, now... Hopefully this doesn't disappoint some people. This is still a belt base, like literally the entire base of belts, the outposts just are not. Um, even like Mojo, uh, you know, his is one of the most well-known belt bases. He does bot base outposts, um, I think for that reason and be, uh, well, he did do it for performance reasons before they optimized belts. But uh, yeah, so there's that. So let's hook this stuff up. Now, there is still a few things left to do. Um, so this, I really should be marking these because I don't actually remember like what half this stuff is, which is going to be really awkward. Um, like it's already hooked up, but just kind of for my own reference. Uh, so this is pipes, and then this one is going to be whatever the other two are, gears and steel uh, here. Now it's a little messy. The hookups we can we can just clean it up later. So gears pipe or gears steel, um, and then pipes are here. Uh, now, red circuits, so we can run the red circuits. Now, in terms of our split-offs, we're not doing... Uh, these are kind of improper split-offs. These are uh, not what I would consider a proper split-off. Um, I think I got rid of my split-off. No, so the, these are what I would consider a proper split-off. But doing it for eight lanes is kind of difficult. Um, and if you're only going off one side of the bus, like we're only going up, these will actually work, like, quite well. Um, it's It's basically... Um, from my understanding, it's when you try to pull off of two different sides and do this that you kind of encounter issues. Um, 
but in this in this instance it should be fine so let's go ahead and continue running our belts red circuits is going to be this one i believe so we will need to pull that off uh, we do need more belt which we do have in the train here luckily uh i also that should be enough to start i'll just grab a little more uh we also have a ton of modules that were sitting in a box that I like completely forgot about that we're going to finish up these other builds with. Um, now, let's head down. I also placed the rocket fuel builds down here. Uh, and they pretty much just need modules. Okay, so this guy is red circuits here. So let's run this down here a little bit. And I'll kind of show you how I've been doing this. Okay, uh, so we need basically just one belt here. Uh, and even if it doesn't need to be a full belt, um, basically we'll just pull a full belt and then any extra is just going to uh, backflow and then just like go back on the bus basically. Um, you know, because if, if a splitter is backed up, you know, then it, it just doesn't send anything through it. You know, because there's no room to send stuff. So even if it doesn't need a full belt, it'll, it'll pretty much just do however much it needs. Uh, so we're just output prioritizing this way, and then I'm just copy pasting across. Uh, so then this, we do, these undergrounds get a little bit finicky. When I'm doing big stretches, I use bots, but for this, it's pretty easy to just do that. Okay, so now Blue Science is entirely hooked up um, with its own ingredients, aside from this one, of course. Uh, and then we just need to hook up the ingredients for miners. And this one, <laughs> this one's going to get tricky. This one is going to be definitely one of the most tricky uh, in terms of how it's going to be hooked up because there's so many inputs over there. It's going to be a little bit crazy. Okay, so we'll just extend this out a bit more. I also, um, I should mention, I also, you may notice I'm not moving on the belts. I also use the command to enable or rather give myself and enable the belt um, immunity module thing you can put in your power armor. Uh, because basically, uh, here's the deal. So this item is already in the game. This item has already been in the game for a good while. Uh, but the devs never actually decided to implement it until they announced it in the Friday Facts for 017. And I decided, you know what, I'm tired of being pushed around by belts. So... Um, you know, since they said they're going to be putting it in the game in 17, I didn't see a reason to wait because it's already in the game. Um, I actually don't even know why they're waiting, honestly. Like, why they waited this long, but whatever. Um, so, that that's what we have. I just thought I would mention that. Okay. So, now these. This, <laughs> this is where it gets interesting. Um, yeah, this is, this is going to be a little bit ridiculous. Um, okay, so this one is Gears. It's a full belt of gears, um, as is this one, but I need to kind of just run these up here so I can figure out, you know, which belt's actually going to be going where. Basically, we need three, three full belts of gears for this. Um, but yeah, so, so this way, you know, I can kind of just look here and be like, okay, this belt go, you know, this is gears, this is iron, and these go here and here. We're probably going to run out of belt here. We did also more faster belts in the base, which is helping a bit. And of course, I did calculate this correctly, thankfully. And there we go. Okay, so let's run this gear. So it's pretty much... Is it like every two? So like that one and this one. It's every three because I, you know, I can count. Um, so these three are gears. We're just going to run the gears all at once. Um, we're going to need way more belt for this. But so this is iron. This one here is going to be gears. Um, so in this case, this would be like, actually, that's priority at the right size. But this is one where I would just use bots. because that is indeed way faster. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull off of this. Now having these this close together, I'm a little concerned about having these split offs in, in this manner so close together. Um, I'm not sure how this is actually gonna work. 
like I don't know so something it could just be like not an issue but something in my head is just telling me that like having them this close is probably not the best thing ever it's probably not gonna work very well but I'm not sure if it doesn't we can always just change it like you know it's pretty simple to just tear up and do like a proper one or something if we need to uh, that's actually not right because that splits off um, so this goes like that and like that just even these up here just so keep our heads straight and there we go so now we need undergrounds this is gonna go underground two and then underground however many that is at this point I would also probably blueprint this uh, like this part In fact at the same space it's unfortunately not but that's okay um, so this is there so now we can pretty much just do that and we are gonna be short belts here but actually short undergrounds as well which I did not expect uh, yeah so there we go that's gonna go there there and did I misalign this shoot dude no okay sometimes it's hard to tell uh, okay, so now let's just go back and get some belts, and then all we have left is purple science um, and yellow science to hook up. This is a bit tedious hooking all this up, like, you know, lining it up, and I, I'm, I'm, I try to think of, like, a faster way to do it, but... I mean, I could blueprint, like, the split-off part, but that's really not that difficult. It takes, like, five seconds to place those splitters. It's mostly just, like lining things up in the first place and then just getting the belt run it is what takes so long uh i don't know i'm like getting my outposts are in radar range but um we also did a ton of biter clearing i had help uh subs and patrons came in and cleared a ton of biters around here and also geeson built uh you know i think i showed on one of the reddit weeklies uh that wood burner thing with the trains he built this on here which is fantastic i love it um we have like 50k wood to burn through that's uh, off currently. Um, but one thing as a finale for this map is I'm going to have to run through this while it's running. And I'm definitely going to die. Uh, <laughs> I promised that I would take a run or two through that. Uh, I obviously want to finish the base first. But uh, yeah, you can look forward to that. I'm kind of looking forward to it. I actually haven't died from a train in quite a long time. Uh, that may change once we turn the base on because there will be quite a few extra trains. Um, yeah, we have like 5k belts here, so I'm Trying to think if there's anything else I can like I really don't I don't think I need lasers in all honesty We can probably unrequest those Clev explosives would probably be a smart thing to keep um, Liquid wagons I will need at some point because I need to set up oil, but um Yeah, so this Basic man, Factorio. <laughs> Factorio is um pretty much this is how it always goes. I don't know why I just have like random little pieces of stuff. Uh, I said we were really close, and we are close in the big uh, grand scheme of things. But man, you just never can count on everything there is to do. It's like I mean, you guys play Factorio. It's you know how it goes. It's like you think you're close and then you realize there's actually still like 10 more things to do or you, you know, do one thing and then it breaks something else. Um, it's uh, it's kind of crazy how, um, you know, how, how that happens. So hopefully we can still get this done soon. I'm working on it as quickly as I possibly can uh, on streams here to get as much done. Um, now, basically, the main things left are just resource gathering and hooking up some of these lanes um, on the bus. <clears throat> we need to get oil, and we just need to hook up the lanes and add a few more trains to the outposts and do the labs and silos, and that's pretty much it. Um, the labs may be a little tricky. There are designs out there that will take all science packs. I just need to find them because I'm not quite sure how to set it up because I need to beacon the labs, too, if at all possible. I've seen a few like on Reddit that were really good, but I'd have to find them again. But uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do here. So let's go ahead and run back over here and get these things hooked up. I'd like to get the miners completely hooked up this episode. Um, that'll be a big accomplishment because this is, this is a ton of belts. This is like 9 or 12 belts or something. 
Um, okay. So there's that, and then this can literally just run straight because our boss has ended here. Uh, I purposely put these very far away from the boss just to make sure we had enough room to work with stuff. Now it may look better to underground them the rest of the way. If we need to, we can do that. It's not that difficult. Uh, so there's that. Now, uh, I find it a lot easier personally to... where... okay, that's not what I want. Um, personally, I find it a lot easier myself to like keep things straight in my head if I um, if I like run all of the lanes kind of to where I'm at or past it. Like having these big gaps here of no bus kind of just throws me off in terms of like where stuff needs to go. So I kind of like just running this. Um, now the blue belt or the blue circuits to get a little bit neglected here. While my bots are doing that, I will do this by hand, kind of double the work getting done here. And we're almost out of belts in our inventory again. I had 900. I think we, we've made close to like 60k belts or something. We can look here. It's a lot. Oh, 100k. Sorry, we've made over 100k belts. Yikes. Okay, so here's this. Pretty much all this is run now. We've, of course, not grabbed the ones from the bottom, but we don't need those quite yet. Uh, okay, so there's that. Now next is going to be green circuits, and it doesn't quite follow the same pattern, I don't believe. No, because this one is... well, actually it does. It's just right next to the gears. And are there more circuits? No, those are going to be iron. Okay, so circuits are going to be right next to gears, and circuit belts are actually the very top ones here. So this is going to be very easy, actually. Or not. Um, yeah, there we go. Figured we may have to do that. Uh, so there's that. Whoop. Run these through here. That still was on my clipboard, so easy to do, man. I cannot wait until the actual, like, copy-paste um, thing that comes in 0.17. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be so helpful. Like, we, it's like like the quick copy-place blueprint type of thing they went over. It's gonna be so helpful. You know, because, like, I don't really just want a blueprint of this, because I keep having to reset it, as you can see with the other belt thing. Um, okay, so there we go. Again, this close together, I'm not really sure. I'm not too confident in that, but we'll see. Um, and then all that's left is iron, so two iron, two iron, and two iron. And this, I'm not actually sure exactly how to go about this because... with these type of split-offs, because basically it's just gonna be two, like, right next to each other. Which I really don't think is gonna work, like, at all. Uh, but we can see, um... So iron's actually way down here. Yikes. A bit of a ways to travel and take a lot of belt. I know we're not gonna have enough belt for this on us, but what we're gonna do is go place these speed modules where they need to go because that'll clear up a ton of room and then we can just carry a lot of belt as well. Okay, so there we go. Uh, basically, the only thing I believe that needs speed modules at this point is going to be. The uh, rocket control units and maybe some low densities over here. We got everything speed modeled here, and then the rocket fuel is missing some as well. Um, I'm just going to. Oh, really, these are missing prod modules. Okay, well, that's not that big of a deal. We have prod modules for sure. Um, I know 100% for a fact that there are beacons up here, and this ridiculously long. This actually runs in front of our rail, so. <laughs> Let's hope this rail doesn't need to go this way. If it does, we're, we're going to have to come from farther up here. Um, because this thing is just absurdly extended past here. Alright. It always uses so many more modules than you think it will. I have like six or seven hundred, and I just used at least half of them. Okay, sweet. Uh, so it looks like we're really only missing a couple productivity modules in total. Which is good. Um, all these, I did cover all these. These have it. And there were a few issues with, like, belts. A couple belts missing in here. I did fix that. I'm not sure if anyone caught that on episode. Um, but if you did, uh, I do want to let you know that I did fix it. 
And we will need to get rid of this coal patch. Well, not really. Maybe. The silos go over. It may be in the way. I'm not sure. Um, now, what we can do, because uh, it, it seems like a little silly running all these lanes all the way down. Um, at a point, it will start draining these lanes. The way these split-offs work is it will start draining a full lane. Um, so at some point, like with things like gears or iron we've put a lot of, it's entirely possible that after like this point or probably this point or this point for gears, we can actually just get rid of a line entirely. Um, and, and then it will be less. Of course, I don't know like when that's going to be, so we have to turn it on first to see where the line empties. And then we can start pulling it up. Uh, because I, like I said, I, I don't know, like, exactly at what point that's going to happen until we actually visually see it happen. All right, I, I want to get this hooked up and then we will call an episode. So let's go ahead and grab some more undergrounds and then just all the belt we can possibly carry. I mean, it's a lot when you consider extending this all down, it's 39 belts tall, you know, if you're extending it ten, even just 10 tiles, which is not that far at all, that's 390 belt you're going through. Like, it's pretty ridiculous. Go, bots, go! Okay, so where is this going to happen? Pretty much, it's just going to be almost solid undergrounds. Oh, all the way through here. Do that. Do that. And do that. So this is something we can probably blueprint to make it way easier. So what we're going to do... We're going to do that, and we're going to get rid of the splitters. Did I not... Did, didn't, didn't I say get rid of the splitters? I think I hit the wrong icon. <laughs> Whoops! Um, choose... Oh, it's over here, duh. I almost never use that feature, so... Oh yeah, of course we get that problem. Okay, this actually... <laughs> will not work. Uh, where is... Okay, so that's gears. So this is iron. I'm, I'm trying to do one, because then we can copy it. Oh. Yikes. That's... That was almost bad. We almost... Well, actually, this is bad. We won't have enough room for this. How's that gonna work? Um, we're gonna have to underground this, which is kind of unfortunate. Because it's like a weird break in the bus, but... Um, okay, so this one is gonna be iron. Like I said, I'm not quite sure how that's supposed to work, pulling those off. But now, we can blueprint this. Uh, we can blueprint this part and get rid of the splitters. And then that should work for here. Fill this in a little bit. Yeah, I'm not. I, I don't. I really don't think that's actually going to work. Uh, and then this needs to underground again. And there we go. Okay, so iron pulling off. Because if we do one here and then one here, it. I mean, that doesn't even work at all. Um. Actually, I'm not sure how I am going to do this, guys. Um, there's like, there's just no, there's no room to work with here. Uh, this could, this could be a problem. There's not even room, I was going to say I could maybe set the, offset them and have them curve back in, but there's not even room for that. I probably should have left like a space, like spaces out even more and left a space between each. Um, with these proper split offs, I think it would be possible because you can do a double split off. Uh, like, well, just imagine this is eight belts. We did one like, well, no, that, that still wouldn't even work. This is a full belt of iron, I believe. I'm almost entirely sure these are going to be full belts of iron. Which means we may not even need to do this. We almost could just pull, like, literally just take a full belt into that actually is probably what we're gonna have to do we're probably going to have to take an entire belt and just pull it off uh, now again though some of these may be empty so which one is gonna empty first I think it's gonna be from 
the right, depending how you're standing, either the right or bottom most, the top, because this basically is just shifting it all over, I believe. Um, so if I'm correct, these ones are going to empty first, which means we don't really want to pull from those for this because they, they may not have any iron on them. Um, of course, if we pull these, the whole bus is going to be wonky. What we may need to do is like, I don't know, man, this, this is actually difficult. I need to think about this before I do this. Oh, I need to think about this a little bit. If you guys have any tips on how to, how to get this work, that's the only thing I can think of is literally just pull a line just straight off of it, not even do this shenanigans. Um, because there's no other way I can think of to make this work. But uh, anyway, that's going to do it for here. Leave your thoughts on that, anything else down below. As always, thank you for watching. Uh, and we are getting pretty close. Each episode is closer, even though it may not seem like it. It's very slow progress. That's just how it goes. But anyway, guys, until next time, I look forward to seeing you all. And do take care.